Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. In today's video we are going to take a next step in some of my plans for the game. Although we're going to be very careful because we don't know what CCP is planning. The thing that I've been doing mostly in the last couple of days to weeks is actually this right here. I've been mining a decent amount in Yona uh, with the Orca. But on the first few days... Uh, of, uh, of coming back into Galente space and into this system specifically which uh, the reason is that we've got all of this stuff over here lots of blueprints as well we've got uh, some some loot uh, I've got a decent chunk in the item hangar as well 2.7 billion um, so all of this uh, is basically an old base of operations that I'm revisiting um, and what I noticed is that there were a couple of um, free ports in the system and they were actually under siege on their structure timer uh, due to Wardex. And so interestingly enough, you could say that uh, free ports, especially for larger structures and markets for small groups that cannot defend them is uh, completely uh, out of uh, out of the, the uh, range uh, of, of things that, that you wanna do in EVE Online at the moment. You're just going to attract too much of a target but uh, there is of course an alternative and I'm kind of hoping to explore that here a little bit and that is to see if you can't set up a private structure that stays under the radar a little bit and um that you could actually yeah, try to get a benefit out of, although you can't basically grab public uh, funds uh, such as uh, getting a tax on, on sales and things like that. So normally I have everything ready in one of my transport ships. If only I could find it. There it is. It's my Ocator. And in here I have uh, some fuel blocks and an Atenor Upwell Quantum Core because we got this message right here. Uh, the Lone Wolf Processing in Yona is now awaiting the Quantum Core to be installed. So that's what we are going to do. Um, the process was actually pretty easy. Uh, I uh, bought the um the structure, chose a place close to the outer planet uh, in order to um in order to to find to set up a place where where we could do that i just did a control b random um random uh, bookmark somewhere close to the planet still wanted that to have a little bit of a background uh, may increase the visibility so that's not really optimal uh, but Let's hope that uh, we can basically stay under the ra radar like this. And normally, right here, we do see that there's two uh, structures um, that uh, that do have a public docking access. But normally, no one else has my structure on the overview. They would have to uh, scout the system and scout the outer planet in order to actually find that on their D scan. Then maybe pin it down with some probes and uh, and and try to find it that way. So let's go. It's actually just uh, finished its anchoring. For First, we had a 15 minute sort of a vulnerability timer, 15 minute reinforcement timer, and then a 24 hour anchor timer. I think it was something like that. Or was it just 15 minutes and then 24 hours? Anyways, doesn't matter. Very smooth and easy pro uh, process. Just right click, launch for the corporation, set it in the place that you want, and there we go. It started that process automatically. Now, until it's anchored, you can't dock. So, this is the first time that I actually have the ability to dock on our new structure that surprisingly enough also doesn't have um, our alliance logo here just yet we'll see maybe that updates a little bit later or something like that but um, here we are uh, I am inside our first structure uh, that's back online in Yona and in here I got a couple of things so let's move these to the item hanger first of all and then I think I have to take control of this one Let's give that a try. And yeah, we're definitely in like uh, low uh, maintenance mode for instructor. So if someone would theoretically uh, wardic us right now, be able to wardic us right now, they could just, you know, plow through the structure and they would get nothing, of course, because there's nothing in this structure just yet. Uh, let's see if it's intuitive or not. So normally we have a core room. Yeah, all I have to do is put this one in the core room. Um, this structure requires an Atenor quantum core. If a suitable is not installed, then the structure may become unavailable. All right, do I have to right click it or something like that? Fit to active ship. You can't fit. You can't fit Atenor Apple core to the Atenor. Okay, let's. You cannot do that because it's currently damaged. What? <laughs> all right, so I have to say, I think uh, it's going to be placed, but all right. Let's put this one in the fuel bay. 
so that it has a little bit of fuel as well and then let's see what happens oh it's onlining we see we've got a new timer that's going over here for probably onlining or uh, repairing and it's a 15 minute timer interesting all right let's um, release control we can just right click and release control then we are back on the ship and so basically i chose a spot that should be a little bit away from uh, immediate warpings on the planet itself but we still have it nicely in the background and then my undock should be towards the uh, star the center of the system that should then also align me decently well with for instance the galente uh, npc station where all of our stuff is located uh, let's also move in the one um surface that i have bought i think not even sure i thought we would have this in the ocator but maybe it's in my fleet hangar nope nothing there um and it's going to be uh, just reprocessing although i'm not going to use it for reprocessing since we won't have any rigs at first uh, i am going to use it for compression uh, you saw that i've been mining a lot in the orca that makes for a decent amount of minerals um or ores I should say and I could either refine that or compress it and I think my plan is basically to compress that bring that to the market and try to sell it start back with the very basics I'm not going to be uh, a massive industrialist or anything like that we're going to play this out from the perspective of a newer corporation I think it could be an interesting um, a, an interesting uh, set of, of videos that, that could provide interesting information for new players that also kind of want to see is this something that's still that's still doable and so your first step i think once you've established your tiny corporation maybe you're solo maybe you're with a couple of players of course uh, do we set up a first structure and which one do you choose well i would honestly choose the atenor because that is going to uh, require the least amount of fuel for your reprocessing um service and uh, at the same time the compression one i think is always at 100 percent efficiency doesn't require any rigs or any extra investments and so you're looking at uh, i think it was like 750 million ish for the hull 700 million for the core 50 million for the uh, service let's see if i can find that can i go just for well oh, not like that i won't s-e-r-v no don't see any Hmm, did I not move it here? I thought I had the service ready, but uh, let's see. Or maybe on reprocessing. There we go. Stand up reprocessing facility one. That's what uh, that's what I had planned for this one. And so what's the advantage? You've got your first structure. Sure, 1.5 billion pretty much in investment. It is quite uh, a lot and you know you're opening your corporation up to a war deck but next to that you just have a little bit of fuel and your first uh, service and you don't really need to go straight away into all right i need to get that very best reprocessing yield i need to uh, start investing in the rigs and all of that stuff as well you can just take advantage of something that will work at 100 percent, which is going to be compression and so you can mine compress that bring that to the market and then as you feel more comfortable to invest more in your structure you can start to do that and so for me the plan is here set this up first get it all working because it's been a long time since i actually set up any structures um, and so that's going to be a little bit of a, an exploration adventure in and of itself you could say seeing how all of the mechanics work if there's problems with that and then of course we'll see if i attract attention will i get war decked or not that's definitely something to keep in mind after that um, I think uh, I'll, I'll invest first in some defenses. Uh, that's that's going to be my number one. And then I'll choose, all right, maybe we do rigs so that I can do local reprocessing. Um, or maybe we set up a second structure that could do other stuff. Uh, we will see. You know, I would try to expand just as a smaller group would try to expand its stuff as well. But this is really a cheap structure relatively of speaking of course uh you know i don't mind if i would lose that and there's no need to keep a lot of expensive stuff uh, in this structure hell i'm not even gonna keep my orca in this structure it's just going to be uh this uh, to start with and then i'll just at the end of my mining trip move here compress and move those ores into uh, the npc station from there a transport ship will move it and try to sell it somewhere else so i kind of wonder if i can already fit this at this point which means i gotta take control then press fitting 
and then I can go to my stuff. Can I just put this in here? You cannot do that because the structure is currently damaged. So we gotta basically wait out that 15 minute timer. That will still take uh, a little bit of time to do. I'm expecting that that will then be enough for me, especially since I did put the fuel in the fuel bay to just um, get structure, uh, get uh, armor and shields up and running and then uh, put in the first service and then in the next video in all likeliness i'll be able to show you guys uh, this very first super super basic setup but also one that i think um is, is something that you as all right let's uh, release control here so we we definitely put this inside the structure i'm right on that yes i am um in order to you know um uh, if that's your ambition as a solo player or a small corporation get a structure this is something i think is doable won't attract too much attention is not that costly and basically doesn't require you to keep massive amounts of super expensive like blueprints or anything like that uh without uh, yeah um uh, so that so that you know during a war deck if it were to happen it's not that big of a deal and then let's go back to the Calente station, which is my home base. Uh, potentially, I'm also seeing this as, well, if it works out and I can expand this, I can later down the line take these structures down and maybe move them to a C1. That would be my, my long-term dream, of course, is to set up all uh, services in a C1 remote with a high six static and then also set up a market and then try to maybe have more interaction maybe streams and things like that so that we can get players involved this is something that yes a lot of you guys during the war deck for it all asked me and, and wanted to help but because of the high sick mechanics that's very difficult to do at the moment in a C1 wormhole that would be a completely different story but this is a little bit pie in the chart uh, at the moment this is the experiment that i'm gonna run i'm gonna try to build some stuff up in yona in galente space from a solo corporation uh, perspective and give you guys that experience to see uh, you know what costs too much what am i willing to risk what am i not willing to risk how does it all work and this has been the first step for that we're setting up basically a compression facility that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time.